Hey guys, my name is Anu and today as you guys watch me on your screens, I'm here to share with you something really important. So today I'm going to share with you guys what all material is required to do Madhubani painting or Mithila painting. So let's begin with the base. For the base, many people do it on fabric. So of course you can use fabric and you can use fabric colors to paint on it. Uh, I like working with uh, handmade paper and canvas. So you can always go for a canvas just like this one. And for canvas, of course, you can use um, acrylic paint, something like this. You can just get any acrylic paint, whatever is available. I don't uh, prefer any brand or, uh, you know, something uh, specific. I just buy whatever colors I like and whatever I like working with. So the other kind of base is also um, uh, handmade paper. Uh, many, many artists use handmade paper uh, for this painting. For handmade paper, you have to keep in mind that the surface is smooth. It is very important for, you know, when you start drawing on it or you start filling in colors. Otherwise, it will be difficult to handle it. In case you don't have handmade paper or canvas or you're not comfortable with it, you can always start with a paper which is a little thicker. So something like uh, this. This is a sketch pad. Uh, the paper is uh, very thick. It is like around 300 GSM, 300 gram per square meter. This is used mostly for uh, water-based uh, paintings like watercolor. So you can start with that. It, I have worked on it and it works amazingly. That's not a problem. And for this, all these material that I said like uh, handmade paper, canvas or uh, this water uh, watercolor pad, you can always go for acrylic paint. So now for making the outline, for making the outline, if you talk about uh, authenticity, authentically such kind of nibs are used. This is a nib. So what you can do is this is a nib holder and there is a nib. You can buy something like this easily in any art shop or you can order it online. It's available online also. So it's something like this. It looks, look, look at it. This is a nib holder and this is a nib. It can easily come out and you can fix it in. So this is used for making the outline authentically. But uh, if you are a beginner and you just want to start, you can also uh, use pen to make the outline. Um, some people do use it. So it is something like this. It is a waterproof pen. You can use this to make outlines. Um, some people also use a rotaring pen. They are comfortable with it to make fine lines because this is, if you see, the tip is really thin. If you see, have a look at it. So the rotaring pen, the tip is really thin to make fine outlines it is uh, used and many people do use it. But I like working with nib and sometimes of course I use also pen for my drawings. So um, for filling in colors, you need brushes and what brushes I use and I'm comfortable with, I'll show you. So this is a four number brush and this I use mostly to fill in the background because it is a larger area. And for fine detailing, for fine lines, I use this brush. This is zero zero and this is very fine. You can easily fill in color in the tip and make fine lines, fine outlines. And then there is one brush, which is number one. I also sometimes use number two. And this is uh, for, you know, filling in colors again. So this is what uh, is basically the materials required for uh, Madhubani painting. I hope this helped and enjoy painting. Thank you so much. Bye.